Good morning, welcome to Morning Expresso. You're watching Indian Express. I'm Charulat Abiswas. With the second leg of the budget session set to resume in the parliament, here are the top stories from today's edition of the Indian Express. The big story. It was status quo once again in the Congress as the Congress Working Committee met to introspect its crushing defeat in the Assembly elections in five states and decided that Sonia Gandhi will continue as the party president till at least August-September when elections for the top post are scheduled to take place. Here are the stories you'll find only in Indian Express. In the latest edition of the Idea Exchange, the governor of Kerala, Arif Mohammad Khan, while talking about the relationship between governors and state governments, the hijab controversy, and why he thinks there should be no special status for minorities in the country, said, During Prime Minister V.P. Singh's time, the government had created a minority finance corporation. When the constitution does not define who a minority is, through government orders, you are creating minorities and you are creating these minority commissions. I am totally opposed to it. You can read the entire interview only in Indian Express. Let's have a look at the front page. Hours after the Cabinet Committee on Security led by Prime Minister Narendra Modi met on Sunday afternoon to discuss the ongoing war in Ukraine and its impact on India. New Delhi decided to temporarily relocate the Indian Embassy in Ukraine to Poland. Over the days since the start of the war on February 24th, the majority of Indian diplomats had moved from the Ukrainian capital of Kyiv to Lviv, a city that's a short distance from the Ukraine-Poland border. Air travellers in India may see an unusual scenario playing out in the coming months of the summer vacation season, rising domestic fares on the back of costlier fuel and cooling international fares as scheduled flights resume. According to data, fares on some of the trunk routes in the domestic sector have increased by 15-30% to 30 in over last 2-4 to four weeks. A fact-finding committee of the Press Council of India has found that the news media in the Jammu and Kashmir region and especially in the valley is slowly being choked mainly because of the extensive curbs imposed by the local administration. There is also the threat of violence by, by the militants which acts as a deterrent, the committee has said in its report that was submitted last week. Here are the must-reads. Speaking to the Indian Express, Lalji Varma, who switched from BSP to SP ahead of the UP Assembly elections, asserted people voted in favour of the BJP because of religious mobilisation. He also added the BJP has not got votes on its capabilities. The communal speeches by the Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath and Prime Minister have benefited them. Afghanistan, Bhutan, Maldives and Nepal supported the resolution against Russia in the United Nations General Assembly. Bangladesh, Pakistan and Sri Lanka abstained, keeping in mind their history, economy and the big power rivalry playing out in their countries. How have India's neighbours in South Asia responded to the war in Ukraine? We explain. Rishabh Pant, 7 4s and 2 6s during the India vs Sri Lanka match, the fastest ever by an Indian in Test cricket, shows he is chaotic yet brilliant. Cameos like these embellish his reputation, his opponents will, before making every step, factor in the Pant factor the irresistible destruction he could wreak. In today's Delhi Confidential, veteran leader A.K. Antony's absence from the Congress Working Committee meeting triggered rumours that he deliberately stayed away. His son Anil K. Antony had to put out a message on social media that his father could not attend the meeting as he had tested positive for COVID-19. And finally, in today's episode of the Three Things Podcast, we talk about India accidentally launching a missile inside Pakistan's territory and the statements made by the RSS in its annual report on religious fanaticism. Lastly, we bring you updates about Russia's invasion into Ukraine as well. That's a news wrap from my end. For the latest updates, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, The Internet Express. Thank you for watching.